Hello, my beautiful new friends. This is Brandon, Fire Daddy Tero. Here we are. There's some cards around for you. Early Med Bay, 2023 Cherry Leo. I want to thank everybody for all their uh, support. The initial uh, round of videos on this channel. I appreciate you guys, all your likes, your comments, subscriptions, all that good stuff. I love you, Leo. Love all my collective out there. Thank you so much, guys. Y'all are awesome. So, got the Terror of the Divine. Terror of Moon Guard I've been playing with all week. <clears throat> kind of a brutal deck. Sexual Magic Oracles. And the Yin Yang Oracles. So, I'd like to ask Source, help me see and speak clearly for my Leo friends, and also to uh, help my Leo friends see and hear what they need to see and hear out of this read for their highest good. Thank you, my gods. I can't do this without you. We'll finish shuffling these up. And we're going to have the deck for Leo. What we got? Okay. A nice read out here for Leo. Give me some cards, please. All right. Go Ace of Cups, man. This card about abundance. Fill in your own cup. Manifestation, all that good stuff. New beginnings, too. Um, it's an ace. A nice, nice way to uh, lead into a read here. Nice, nice lead into a read for Leo. Let's see what else we got here. Three of cups. I'm gonna say with this, this is probably a card about celebration. It can be sometimes fits right as a uh, third party energy, but this feels good. This is nice here, Leo. Let's see what we got. Let's uh. Here the I want to tell us ten swords. It's about completing a burdensome cycle. Might not be so much celebration going on. I don't know, man. You tell me. We have ten swords here. I'm cutting shit off, ending things. The moon can be about um secrets. Supposed to be about getting intuitive on things here. This is uh Hey, eight of cups too. Um, like I said, this three could be be read as a third party energy. Leo, did you break up with somebody because they were a cheater? Because that's uh, that's kind of what I'm getting here. Kind of what I'm getting here, and maybe this uh, ace of cups about them filling up their cup a little too much. I don't know. Let's grab the Terror of the Moon Guard and see what it wants to talk about on this for Leo. Hmm. Terror of the Moon Garden. What do you want to talk about for Leo here on this? See some shenanigans afoot going on here, it looks like. Or at least were. Ten Swords is here. It talks about completions. Uh, tens are about completion, end of cycles. This could be done. I've seen a couple of reads talk about completion this week. Five swords, man. Somebody all big time, didn't you? Huh. Think about some conflict there. That ace sitting there. There's the moon again. Moon on this three of cups, man. I'm gonna say uh somebody's cheating, aren't they? And he's keeping it from you too. Yeah, and the moon can definitely be about secrets and things we don't see hidden in the shadows. And I'm gonna say that's probably what that's about. Strength is here. Strength on this ten. It took some inner strength to walk away from that, didn't it, Leo? It might have been a secret for a while. You might not have known and trusted this person and thought that they were, uh, hmm, trustworthy, I guess. Uh, seven Cups is here. Be a card about choices. Those choices can be dangerous. This could also have been talking about uh, their choices. But that kind of looks like Leo's choice. They made to uh, walk away with this 
eight of cups here at the end of it. You walked away from this. And eight of swords. Yeah. There are things you couldn't see, wasn't there, Leo? You didn't quite know how to get out of this mess, but you got out of it. It's kind of a painful looking read, man. I'm sorry. I usually like to provide a better energy than that for people, but um this shit looks like it hurt, man. It might still hurt a little bit. I'll tell you, you're probably still a little bit upset about this. This might have been recent with this person, Leo. Yeah. We get some more on this. Leo, man. Walked away from the cheater up there, it looks like. Someone like to get around a little bit. Get some more on this. What's going on here? Queen of Swords. What's this queen about here? Uh, who you walked away from? Somebody with some air in their chart, possibly. Hmm. So you might have temperance. Temperance is here. What's temperance doing here? Mixing up some cups, it looks like. Mixing up some magic. So who's this queen then? Is this something new or is this old energy? Regardless of who this queen is, Temperance is here mixing some cups for you, Leo. Temperance is here mixing some cups. You meet somebody new? Knight of Swords is here. That's probably who you walked away from, isn't it? Could be. Could also be you moving towards something else. Mmm. It's coming out under that strength card. It's probably you moving on from some shit. Temperance is here mixing cups for you. I'd say once you uh, cut that old shit out of your life, it's probably open up some doors for you. Definitely think this queen is uh, representative of who you walked away from. They probably had some air in their chart. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. That's some of that in their chart, most likely. Four wands about community and comfort. What you finding comfort in here, Leo? Temperance is here, and you're moving toward four wands up here, nine of wands. You got your defenses up, it looks like, Leo. What's going on here, man? Why are you so defensive? What cards please the world? So you're at the end of all this. After all this crap with this person up here, the world's here. Talk about new coming in for you. Let's see what's going on. World Knight of Cups. Again, more movement there. Movement Knights can also be about communication, dude. Might be getting some new communication because there's an ace of cups. There's your ace of cups, man. And filling up your own cup with love because you're uh, looking to probably attract something in here soon, I'd say. The ace of pentacles. Yeah. He was attracting some new in here. Looks nice for you. Let me move these cards. That's a big old read for, the, for Leo here. Big old read. Leo walked away from my. Uh, Cheater up here, cheating air queen, it looks like. And Seven of Pentacles, this card's about divine timing, Leo. So you might be waiting for a little bit here while you've been healing yourself. See if we can figure out who's coming in here, if somebody's coming in soon. Four of Pentacles, card talks about security. I'll come out with the world right there. That talks about security. Three staffs, three wands. Card talks about building. I still don't see a new person here anywhere. I see new coming in, but I don't see a new person. Oh, the emperor. Okay. Male or female, it's the emperor, Leo. Uh, it's Aries energy. It could be anybody. It could just be someone that's sitting up high in their power. Is that who you're attracting in? I think it might be. This nice looking emperor here looks like... Uh, He's willing to give you some security you've been looking for after that crap with that queen. Yeah. Six wands, victory after the battle. Usually after the five of wands battle, but there's no five of wands here. But still, it's victory. 
Victory coming here for you, Leo, with this Emperor. Looks good. It's new love coming in. That's what it is after all this crap you went through with this queen up here. And the chariot. Chariot's about movement. Um, cancer energy on that. This new person coming in could have some water in their chart. Could be a cancer. Looks good for you. Let's, uh, let's grab a couple of the sexual magic oracles. See what they want to talk about for Leo here. Looks nice. Good energy. Went through some shit up there. Cut somebody off. Got new coming in here. I'll see a return of this person. I'd say you got them locked in every way, but, uh, well, no way. They probably have no way to get a hold of you, do they, Leo? No way to get a hold of Leo. And they might not want to. They might just be out here having fun, uh, Getting around and good for them if that's what they're into. Because I don't think that's what the Leo I'm reading for wants. I think they want something stable. And I think this emperor coming in here is going to give it to them. If you haven't met this person yet, you will soon. Self-confidence. I'd say that's definitely a card Leo is known for. Or an energy Leo is known for. Even though doesn't, this is a Scorpio card. But I don't know. Most Leos I've met, they're pretty confident people. So, we're going to put that uh, probably down here on this. You had this confidence to walk away, Leo. Yeah, moving on. That's what you did. Forgiveness. Yeah, it's fine to forgive, but um, you don't have to let that shit come back. Like I said, I don't see a return energy here. Something to keep an eye out for. They might come crawling back asking you to forgive them. Um, which is fine. You can forgive them, but you don't have to take them back. I wouldn't. Do what you want, though, Leo. Do what you want. Discovery. Yeah. Leo went on a journey of self-discovery, I think, and now Leo's attracting in some nice new love down here. Something fulfilling and stable protection. You know, that goes good with that emperor there. He looks like the type to be protective. Not in, like, a domineering way, but, like, he's going to protect his relationship. He or she, I'm sorry, going to protect their relationship and uh, not let third parties come and uh, screw things up for them. Because they're going to love them, they're Leo right. And awareness. We all need some of that in our lives. Awareness. And to me, this card talks about being self aware. You can also talk about being aware of what happened up there. And you may also very well be aware of this emperor coming in. But that's what it talks about to me. It's being self-aware. Be aware that you're better than energy like that so you can attract in things down here. You know, good things. All right, that's nice cards for you, Leo. Let's uh, get the yin yang over for Laos. Who wants to talk about for Leo today? Hold on, cards. I'm getting a little more used to shuffling these tiny little things. Still have some issues with them, like right there, though. So it hurts to have big hands and tiny cards. Yin Yang Oracle, what do you got from a Leo friends today? Looks good, looks like uh, moving on from some junky uh, energy in the past and moving on up here in the world to uh, manifest. Is off so they can protect their relationship. Regret. Repression, you know. Try not to regret this up here too much because it pushed you in the right direction, man. Oh, that fire ace is here. Leo, very saggy fire ace. It's your card in this deck. It's four aces in this deck, one for each element. That's your card in this deck, Leo. The feminine is here. Um, you know, this is Empress or Emperor energy down here. A lot of times when we get in touch with our feminine side, including you, Leo, might be going through this right now. Whether you're a guy or girl, it doesn't matter. Sometimes when you get in touch with your feminine intuitive side is when you can really start manifesting some good things in. So I'm going to put that up here with discovery. Uh, Leo might have been discovering their feminine side a little bit. And I don't mean that in like a weird way or anything. I mean, just learning to be like intuitive, uh, a little more grounded, getting in touch with your emotions, things like that. 
card here says decisions. Yeah, you made a decision and you walked away from all this up here, didn't you? And put that there with self-confidence. You made a decision to take care of yourself. We have the um, Earth Ace here. Virgo Taurus Capricorn. Like I said about being grounded. And I know this Emperor's uh, a lot of Aries energy on that, but this Emperor on this card looks pretty grounded though. Could also say that the person coming in here uh, might have some Earth in their chart as well as I think they also got some water in their chart. And we've got Reflection, Lost, and Fragmented. I will to put that right up there. And Ego, Vanity, and Pride. Yeah, a lot of times these um, energies, third-party situations where somebody's cheating, they've got an Ego problem and a Pride problem. You know, they're usually pretty damaged people that just refuse to heal themselves. So we're going to put that up there too. We're going to put this in here with all this uh, nice new love coming in. Oh, wow. Uh, getting this card quite a bit this week. This card says Twin Flames. So whoever you're meeting, about to meet, or whoever you've met recently, if you've met this person already, this emperor down here, probably going to be a pretty important person in your life. Might be a Twin Flame or Soulmate connection. Um, so I'll hold that up nice and closer so you can see it. It's nice and fiery looking. Good for the end of a Leo read. So I'm gonna put that down there, man. Just keep that in mind as a little footnote. This person coming in might be pretty important to you. Anyway, Leo, I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, sure leave a like. If you wanna see more like this, be sure to subscribe. I'll see y'all on the next one. Bye.